Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 49 in chapter 7. In this one, we have a chain, right? It's 3 meters and 2 meters is on the table. Another 4 meters is just at this part, at the end of the table. Now we can see, after we release it, this chain will move, move down, move down. These 2 meters will move down, move down, move down. And then finally at this part. Ask you how much work it is performed on the chain by the force of gravity as the chain falls from the point of 2 meters on the end to the point where the entire chain has left the, this table, right? So that means initially there is a... So we can see the work, the gravity, um, in this case, do the work. We just need to consider this part which is not on the table. Do you agree? We just need to consider this part. And then how much, and in this part you can see, the gravity we can consider, we can cut it in a lot of fractions, in a lot of fractions. We cut this chain in a lot of fractions. And also it tells you the density is lambda. Agree? The lambda gives you, this is a density. And then the lambda times y position, the y, the length is the gravity. Is a gravity. Agree? And so, that means for this small fraction, the gravity is lambda times this d, this, this d, this y, lambda y, gravity. And then how much distance it moved for this fraction from there to there, dy, agree? dy. So that means for this small fraction of the work, dw is lambda y times dy. And then if you want to know the entire chain moves to the ground, we need to do the integral, the w equal to integral, the y, and then the position changes from 1 meter to 3 meter. After we input the known quantities inside, we can get the final answer. Thank you.